In this video, we're going to explore all the beaches that are accessible to somebody that lives in Sarasota or visiting. We're going to go beyond Siesta Key Beach, which is typically the beach everybody talks about, but there's so many others to explore. We're going to review the Sarasota beaches first. Let's head over to Lido Key, a barrier island off the coast of Sarasota. To get there, we'll take the Ringling Bridge through St. Armand Circle to the beaches. There are three beaches on Lido Key, North Lido, Lido and South Lido Beach. These three beaches are typically less crowded than Siesta Key Beach and provide for a more relaxing experience because of it. But each one of these three beaches is also unique with its own advantages. On the southern tip of Lido Key is South Lido Beach. South Lido Beach is bordered by four bodies of water, the Gulf of Mexico, Sarasota Bay, Big Pass, and Brushy Bayou. This is a great place to come to, to take in the views to downtown Sarasota or Siesta Key, have a picnic, or take advantage of the Tet Sperling Park, which is a 100-acre park in walking distance to the beach and perfect for kayaking and nature hiking. Now, there are no lifeguards at this beach and the currents can be a bit more swift, so take a note of that. Lido Beach is between South Lido and North Lido Beach. It is typically where the tourists go partially because most accommodations are closer to this beach and parking is easy to find. This beach has lifeguards on duty, a concession stand, and swimming pool. Now this is my favorite beach spot in Sarasota. North Lido Beach is towards the northern end of the island. This beach is the least crowded and there are no lifeguards or bathroom facilities. But walk through the dunes further north and you may just be one of a few people at the beach enjoying crystal blue warm waters and powdery sand. This section of Lido has an untouched feel and that is its beauty. Really close to the Lido beaches is St. Armand Circle which offers over 130 boutique stores and restaurants. So Lido Key is a great place to vacation if you want to be close to the beaches and entertainment. Now we're going to Siesta Key, which is a barrier island off the coast of Sarasota. On Siesta Key, there are three beaches, Siesta Key Beach, Crescent Beach, and Turtle Beach. There's also a lively small village on the island with restaurants, stores, and bars. Siesta Key Beach is the most popular of all beaches in Sarasota. Now, there are a few reasons for that. It has gotten praise over the years from different news media in regards to how deep the beach is, how fine the sand is. A walk from the parking lot to the water can take up to five minutes. That's how deep the beach is. And the sand is made of 99% quartz. So it's really fine, powdery-like sand that does not get warm in the heat of the summer. You can still walk barefoot on the sand, even during the hottest of days without burning your feet. In 2020, it was certified by the Clean Beach Coalition as a blue wave beach for being a clean, healthy, and environmentally managed beach. This beach has lifeguards on duty, tennis courts, volleyball courts, bathroom facilities, and really so much more. Sunday evenings is the drum circle, which is a fun, free-spirited event for everyone to enjoy. Because this beach is so popular, as you can imagine, it can get crowded here, and parking can be a bit tougher to find on the weekends. But there are two other options on the key. Turtle Beach is nestled towards the southern side of Siesta Key and offers a much more relaxing experience, as less people typically come here. The walk to the beach is short, but nonetheless, this beach is beautiful, especially if you come here in the evenings to enjoy the sunsets. There are no bathroom facilities or lifeguards on duty. And lastly, Crescent Beach is on the southern side of Siesta Key and a bit more secluded. There are two entry points to Crescent Beach, or you can enter Siesta Key Beach and just walk down to Crescent and enjoy the crystal blue gulf waters and powdery sand in a much less crowded space. Now, we talked about the beaches in Sarasota, but there are many other beaches in close proximity to Sarasota. So let's explore the beaches in Nokomis and Venice, which neighbor Sarasota to the south. Nokomis Beach sits at the tail end of the southern side of KC Key and is actually the oldest public beach in the area. This beach seems to offer it all from a concession area, bait shop, volleyball courts, picnic areas, boardwalk, lifeguards, and a kayak launch. And just like Siesta Key Beach, Nokomis also has a drum circle, but on Wednesday and Saturday evenings. The Venice beaches are known as the shark tooth capital of the world. There are three beaches in Venice, Caspersen Beach, Venice Beach, and Brohart Beach. But it is Caspersen Beach in Venice where most people will come to to look for shells and shark teeth. The sand here is coarser than on Sarasota beaches and the beach is not as wide. 
but there are lots of natural big rock formations along the beach which makes this a great place to take a long walk enjoy the natural scenery and possibly find treasures along the way there are no lifeguards here just like siesta key beach in 2020 casperson beach also made the list as a blue wave beach for being a clean healthy and environmentally managed beach Roja Beach is where the famous fishing pier is and one of the best Florida beach bars called Shark is on the Pier. Finn's, a more upscale restaurant experience, is right next door. So this is a great place to come to for a fun waterfront and dining experience with spectacular views of the water. To the south of Prohard Beach is Prohard Paw Park, Sarasota County's only dog-friendly beach where dogs are allowed to run around freely in the designated beach area. This place can be so much fun with dogs and the accessibility to picnic tables in a pet-friendly park make this even more fun. Venice Beach is a family-friendly beach you can spend the entire day in. There are lifeguards on duty, volleyball courts to choose from, a picnic area, and a concession stand. This beach is very close to Main Street in Venice, which makes this a great place to spend the entire day at the beach and venture into a town later for entertainment, food, and drinks. Now let's not forget the beaches on Lombo Key in Anna Maria Island, which is to the north of Sarasota. There are a lot of beaches on this stretch. I'm going to highlight my personal favorites. So if you're on Longboat Key, especially check out Birkan Island. Also go to Anna Maria Island and check out Coquina Beach. Coquina Beach is fun for the entire family to enjoy with volleyball courts, picnic tables, a playground, a gift shop, and so much more. The visually stunning and remote Bean Point Beach, which is at the northern tip of the island. I would say that this beach is probably the most secluded beach we have in the area, partially because it's in a residential area and it's at the tip of Anna Maria Island, so it's not easy to get to. Thank you so much for joining me today on this tour. My name is Katrin Fitzenreiter, real estate agent here in Sarasota County. If you're looking for real estate information, call me, contact me anytime. I would love to team up with you. Thank you again for watching until the very end. I always appreciate it when you do. Take care.